Hello Game Geek viewers, today we are going to be reviewing the Atari 2600 along with the video game Space Invaders for the Atari 2600. Now we're going to start off by showing you the two different designs that were released of the Space Invaders game. There's these two. We'll look, one kind of gray silver and the other one black. Those two are just dead there, we'll review them. Now basically the whole point of Space Invaders is you're a little ship or a big ship depending on the difficulty that you set it to on the back of your Atari 2600 and you blast or shoot little little like aliens and once you've cleared the board they get faster and faster and they move from side to side so uh, if they get too low and they get down to the ground they like get too, too low on the ground then you lose because like they boarded earth or whatever so you just gotta handle like shoot them using a little gun and before they do reach the ground um, and we'll review more about those in a little while but for now we're just going to review the Atari system right over here I have the Atari 2600 Junior and we're just going to review that for right now okay alright so we're going to start with overall design there's a few co I'll do the pros and cons here a con is that there's no dust flap over the place where you put the games uh, that's a minor inconvenience just because to help preserve the system a little bit. In other words, there is a nice, uh, f there's it's, there's a nice silver finish here with the word Atari outgraved in it, and uh, that's pretty nice. And um, a nice feature on it is to choose between uh, color TVs and black and white TVs. I mean, not many people have black and white TVs these days, but it's nice to have that kind of capability that most systems do not have, such as the Xbox. Um, well, the Atari is also, another con is that the Atari controllers plug into the back of the Atari. That's a con because they're, yeah, the wires are, can only go so long. They're only, I'd say about two feet long. That's from the beginning to the end there. And this isn't very long. And, um, they plug into the back of the Atari back right there and then on the other end for left and right controllers. Um, along with the back there's another nice feature just to change the difficulty of games. In other words, the Space Invaders to change the difficulty, you put it on A and your ship will be nice and little. So on the easy difficulty, that is how you play it. And then on the B difficulty, which is harder, your ship's bigger. So when the Space Invaders fire down missiles at you, um, they, they have a wider surface to hit. So, yeah, and um, a pro of the Atari is that it is a wonderful system and that it does last the longest of any system. I'd say even better than a lot of modern systems. And it probably lasts longer. Uh, I've heard from people that it does last quite a bit longer. Alright, so now that we've reviewed the actual system itself, it's time for the controllers. Now, I have here a standard Atari controller. One button, some gravel here. It's one button joystick. One button. This one isn't very worked in. I don't use it too much, but. And then we have here in a second. I have a more of a custom controller. Uh, I put some grip tape and stuff like that on it. It benefits it a bit. Uh, right here, I have it. The strap as well. It's held the same. It's more worked in though. It's got grip tape on the sides. Want to hold it? It'll slip. Here too. That's it. I got some stickers on it. That's it. All right. So I think we should maybe review the actual Atari game itself. So click on my TV. We'll try this this Space Invaders first, and if we try to spot a difference, we'll try. But We'll try this one out first. Just give me a sec. Alright, so. Let's put this in the Atari, like so. Plug into the controller. I'll use the custom controller this time. Go into the left controller slot. And we'll on the Atari. So, what we have is, well, this. And that's how the game starts out. Once you press reset, the game starts. Basically, that's it. And then you fire your missiles. This is on the A difficulty. This is the easiest difficulty. See so your ship's nice and little. You can 
We run the ships. Now we're gonna try try to beat this level. I don't know if we're gonna do it, but we'll try. I'll try. Now remember, see if you can spot any difference between differences between the two different cartridges I have here. And see that little blue ship at the top? You hit that. That's worth a lot of points. So I'm no good at it. So I'm get it. And you get three lives altogether in this game. I'll probably beat this, I don't know. Ah, uh, okay, maybe not. I got the Lord here. Oh, gee, I think I'm dead. Alright, so once you die, just go to the screen. I know it looks like I can still play, but I can move. But my, uh... But no, I can't. It just kind of goes onto the screen. Once you press reset again, it'll go back to a game again. That's basically all. Turn it off here. Alright, so that was the first Space Invaders. Uh, I'll just try to put it in the second one, see if you can spot any differences between the two. Alright, so this is the other Atari. And we're going to play this one, however, on the B difficulty, so it makes it a little bit harder for us here. So this, see how your ship has increased in size, it makes it a little bit trickier for the aliens, it makes it tricky for you, because the aliens have a high, way wide, much wider space to shoot at. But the pro is of being on this difficulty, as you can see, you can go a little bit off to the side to shoot the uh, space invaders, but the other ship you cannot. And they did a very well job at this game. I mean, it's classic. It's when we think of a video game, we'll probably most of us probably think of this, Space Invaders for the Atari 2600. Now, this could have been used also for the Atari 7800 because it was backwards compatible. It could be with that. I've died, so I'll try and do hard. I don't feel very challenged. All right, so we don't have too much more to say except for that the Atari uh, is a great system and it's my pick for the week. My fortune the the Game Geek episode, this is um, this is an early episode, I made it, it's supposed to be on Sunday. New episodes every Wednesday and Sunday, uh, for sure, and then new episodes posted scattered around. Um, thanks for watching.